up and coming tech jobs require blended skills. Cisco's doing some hiring, and high school kids from all over the country have come to Orlando to show the Air Force Association their stuff and learn about cybersecurity careers in the process. Last week, I was up to my <clears throat> in snow. Now I'm in Orlando for the Cyber Patriot 2 Championships. I take back all those things I said about the Sun Belt. I'm Mark Pfeffer, and this is the Dice News Update for Friday, February 19th, 2010. Maybe it's natural that after a long recession, people focus on what types of jobs are going to be hot. I mean, I've certainly seen a lot of lists lately about in-demand skills, but Computer World's got a new one that caught my eye. The list includes some that aren't surprising, like security specialists and virtual systems managers, but there's also capacity managers who'll be needed as more companies try to plan ahead for their resources, and sourcing specialists who'll be needed to manage software licenses, contracts, and consultants. And though some of these skills really need hardcore technical skills, others, like sourcing specialists or service catalog managers, will need a more flexible skill set to handle the dynamics of what are basically service-oriented positions. We're talking about tech smarts that are combined with things like business expertise as well as good communication skills. Cisco reported a 23% increase in profit during its latest quarter, and that spurred some hiring plans. Last week, the firm said it's setting out to hire 2,000 to 3,000 people in the coming months. About a quarter of the jobs will be in Cisco's services organization. That includes advanced and technical services engineers and project managers. The rest will be in areas like sales, finance, marketing, IT, manufacturing, supply chain, and HR. Another note, the company is going to be doing a lot of recruiting on college campuses. Besides a good quarter, what's going on here? CEO John Chambers thinks we're beginning a second phase of economic recovery. If he's right, and growth impacts other IT firms like it did Cisco, that could be good news for folks in technology centers around the country. Last year, the Air Force Association began the annual Cyber Patriot competition to encourage young people to think about technology and security careers early enough to make a difference. This week in Orlando, Cyber Patriot 2 is nearing its climax as eight teams out of an initial 200 gather to defend their Windows and CentOS networks. And what kind of defenses are they mounting? They won't tell me. And DICE is a sponsor. It just doesn't feel right. That's it for this week. Cat Miller will be back on Wednesday with another edition of DICE TV. And I'll be back on Friday. Until then, I'm Mark Pfeffer, Managing Editor of DICE News, and we now return you to your regular desktop.